something has come to my attention and of course I have to review it so I'm gonna check this out this is the new army recruiting videos here we go all right so there are like <clears throat> like five of these let's uh, let's do the first one there's a series called the calling and it really does look like the the new class of X-Men um, the same people at Marvel are now doing our recruiting videos for the army that's that's fantastic that is just precious so we got David, Emma, Janine, Jennifer, and Ricky. Let's check out David. Animated. They couldn't spring for the stock footage. They animated it. I'm already bored. How long is this? Two minutes and 45 seconds. Well, how is this relevant to recruiting? I used to watch helicopters from my backyard in Hawaii. Ah, okay. My dad was that makes officer, sense. So we lived on base. I love hearing the start up and take off. Okay. Cool thing in the world. But I knew I could never be a pilot. Oh. The end! Should this series be called My Struggle? To be a smart person. I struggle to keep up in class. Can relate. Subjects like math and Spanish were so hard for me. Why do you need Spanish to fly a helicopter? Growing up, my mother was in and out of the hospital for nearly a decade. Yeah, I can relate. Before she passed away. Ah, uh, that sucks. My older brother Rob helped me raise me. Okay. He eventually followed my What does this have to do with army. recruiting? And I wanted to as well. Just not as a helicopter pilot. Mm-hmm. Then, during a long road trip with Rob. Oh, this whole video is a long road trip. Yay. But I'm not pilot material, I said. Rob was done singing my excuses. So finally, I decided to stop making them. This is like GameCube level cell shading quality. I refocused my life around school. Training myself to pay attention. Okay. Congrats. And now he's a pilot. Yippee. It doesn't take a genius to become an army pilot. It takes time and effort. Well, at least he's not wearing now every time I put my helmet on. ACUs. I feel like I'm dreaming. I can't imagine doing This feels like somebody else besides the actual person is... Okay. I'm going to call BS on that. I don't think that there actually is a, that officer. Hey, how about that? Jameson Travels. I guess that's kind of how I'm doing this, the Jameson Travels uh, review-ish. Okay, let's skip the intro. Yeah, still animated. This is the story of a soldier who operates New Nation's Patriot Missile Defense System. Couldn't, couldn't, did, didn't have any stock footage? No stock footage. It begins in California. Of course. With a little girl raised by two moms. What does this have to do with recruiting? Two minutes and 20 seconds. This one is ratioed. Check that out. 29,000 dislikes. Wait, what was the other one? Shut up. 4,000. 4.6 thousand to 300 000. okay so that one's not as popular not as many views let's jump back it 
begins in California. With okay. a little girl raised by two moms. Okay. Emma! What does this have to do with recruiting? Th Although it had a fairly typical childhood... She, uh, they're already off on a tangent. I can already tell that this entire series is going to be just irrelevant. Took ballet, played violin. Okay. Are you in the band? I like to think that no child should have any idea what goes on in the bedroom. Okay. No, no child needs to know what their parents do behind the closed doors. No, no child needs to know their parents' sexuality. To me, that's child abuse. I've been defending freedom from an early age. When I was six years old, one of my moms had an accident and left her paralyzed. Oh, that sucks. The doctor said she might never walk again. That really sucks. But she tapped into my family's pride to get pride. back on Pride. Interesting choice of words. Eventually standing at the altar to marry my other mom. Okay. With such powerful role models, I finished high school at the top of my class. Notice they didn't. UC Davis, where I joined hold, hold up. She went to college, so why is she a corporal? Sorority full of Why'd you enlist? You could have been an officer. But as graduation approached, I began feeling like I'd been handed so much in life. She's so privileged. A sorority girl stereotype. Sure, I'd spent my life around inspiring women. But what had I really achieved on my own? Okay. One of my sorority sisters was studying abroad in Italy. What does this have to do? I needed my own oh, finally! My own challenge. <clears throat> a minute and 50 seconds into this two minute and 20 second long commercial before we get to anything relevant to Army recruiting. I will improve my inner strength and maybe shatter some stereotypes along the way. I'm U.S. Army Corporal Emma Malone Lord, and I answered my calling. These are baby face kids. I. I I have a feeling this is all just a bunch of unpersons. Let me uh let me fix this. Hold on. This is the story of a soldier who operates your nation's Patriot missile defense systems. And after meeting with an army recruiter, I found it. A way to prove my inner strength and maybe shatter some stereotypes along the way. I'm U.S. Army Corporal Emma Malone Lord, and I answered my call. There! I fixed your long, contrived mess. You're welcome. Let's go to another one. Um, <laughs> Janine. Let's go to Janine. Ahead. Okay, someone's singing. My singing voice took me all over the world. Was she in the band? But no matter how far I traveled, how many things I experienced, after I kept army returning to a feeling inside. Wait, af after active duty? Did she? Did she? Is she on the, the ship now? After active duty? I grew up in an army family. Okay, history. Dad, uncles. Awesome. Both of my grandfathers. Uh-huh. Well, that's cool. So as soon as I turned 17, I asked for my dad's blessing to enlist. But having served in the Army during the Vietnam era, responding to civil unrest, he said no. He had his reasons. So I turned to singing. Okay. First on the strip in Vegas, then after a performance at the Apollo Theater in New York. So why'd you take a pay cut? To sing for a top cruise line, where I spent five years traveling everywhere, over seventy different countries, witnessing a good. So the army was just battle. like Places torn a apart, side quest. Unrest, people suffering. Our ship was once turned away after a port had been bombed. Well, whose fault was that? You really want to make a difference. Okay. 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 Okay.
How long is this one? Two minutes. Three. Three minutes. Three minutes and four point three thousand dislikes. I'm king of the world. Awesome. I still find time to perform for my fellow soldiers. Still has nothing to do with recruiting. Like, half of this video. Well, more than half of this video. So that took two minutes and 50 seconds to get to the point. All right. Let's, let's go to Jennifer. Skip ahead. I'm already bored. What is this? When I was four, my siblings and I watched my dad try to take his own life right in front of us. Okay. Two minutes and 50 seconds. Fingers crossed that they might allude to veteran suicide. Which would be an awful thing to bring up while trying to recruit a person. Hey, we're going to give you a job. Let you see the world. You'll see some horrible stuff. You might try to commit suicide. Uh, after your DD-214, uh, but here's your sign-on bonus, which you're not allowed to use until after boot camp. Congratulations, uh, get out of my office. Like, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't bring up the statistics on the death tolls involving Pintos if you're trying to sell Pintos. Uh, speculation. I don't know, I don't know where this is going, but we'll find out. The police were called and they rescued him. Oh, well, that doesn't have anything to do with the army. People who are suffering. Are they veterans? Yennefer. My parents were first-generation immigrants from the Dominican Republic. Okay. Where they I keep the good cigars. Bedroom apartment in New Jersey with ten family members. Jersey. You moved from the Dominican struggles. Republic to Jersey. My mom had to work sixteen-hour days, so I helped any way I could. My neighborhood was tough. My friends got into a lot of trouble. I wanted to fit in. Okay. One time, I snuck out and stayed three days at a friend's place. When I came home, what does this have to do with recruiting? Teach me to appreciate the life I had by sending me to the Dominican Republic to stay with relatives. Why would you send her back to the Dominican Republic? That place sucks, apparently. You just said that. My relatives lived in a house with a tin roof. Tourists used to drive by and throw candy at us. Once, on a school field trip, I missed the bus back, completely stranded. And a stranger went out of her way to help me get home. I remember thinking... Was she a soldier? No matter what, there are always good people in the world. Well, that's irrelevant to army recruiting. And when I returned to the U.S., I knew I had to be one of those good, helpful people. Okay. I just didn't know how. One day at school, I came upon an army recruiter and told him about my goals. He took oh, me the classic all uniform. different careers, and that's when it hit me. The army is an army of good people. I knew what to do. Now I serve in a combat support hospital, doing what fulfills me the most. I'm U.S. Army Specialist Jennifer Liriano, and I answered my calling. Okay. Again, like most of that, two two minutes, two minutes and uh, two two minutes and fifty seconds, and not all of it was relevant. Let's go to the last one, Ricky. Skipping ahead. Back in Haiti, I used to oh, call the mouse down. Okay, my drill so instructor. One of my drill instructors was from Haiti. So when my family had the opportunity to move to Florida, it opened my eyes to a new world. A world that I would one day want to defend. Uh, electricity and running water. 
being a first generation immigrant, I was amazed by what was normal in the US. Simple things like well-kept grass and smooth roads were a huge deal. Seeing my parents it's because they put trash all over the road. Humbling, showing me that hard work and determination goes far. I didn't realize like many how far areas of this country. Portland. I initially California. joined Junior ROTC to get out of gym class. <laughs> much different than I expected. <laughs> it was actually more physically demanding and disciplined. Okay, this is more relevant than the other four. Uniform. But something about it was more interesting. It was empowering to feel like a part of a team. And I started taking it more seriously than I ever expected. But it was one day during a 9-11 ceremony, I started seeing the army in a new light. Over 3,000 students lined the walls and the balconies of my school. My whole community was there. This is the most relevant video out of all five. Members from every military branch. The silent show of respect for this country was deafening. I was now determined to defend this nation that I called home. And to not only be a citizen, but a soldier as well. I am U.S. Army First Lieutenant Ricky Placier, and I enter my column. Okay. The most relevant of all five of those was the last one. Okay. Purely speculation. This is this is this is just me. This is just me. Purely speculation. It seems as though the people running this are the new college graduates. Who? Okay, let me go back. In order to commission out as an officer, you have to go through OCS. You have to do basic training, all that kind of, or the basic school the Marine Corps calls it, uh, officer corps, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but as I understand it, you just have to have a degree. It doesn't matter what degree, it, what what degree field. It could be underwater basket weaving. It could be gender studies. It could be uh, microbiology. It's something something to get you a bachelor's degree. It shows you know how to English goods. So, once again, speculation. It seems as though the people in charge of the marketing don't have a background in marketing. It looks like the people who are involved in Army recruiting marketing, their target market, of course, is that 16 to 26, but they're copying and pasting intersectional feminism on top of all of these other things. So, we have to cater to everybody in a special certain way or else you don't... I, I have to see myself... I have to see a straight white man on camera before I can identify with a character. Um, so, so, so they're pandering. And they're pandering hard. Uh, yeah, the, the skin color has nothing to do with it. That's, that's the military. That's what I... I was a minority in my shop. I, I don't care. But it seems to me that the intersectional feminist and the, the, the they're they're using that, um, and a lot of, it almost feels like a bunch of unpersons, like they just made all this stuff up. But again, it feels like they're they're using gender studies because in a lot of gender studies <coughs> related uh, projects that I, that I've read. They bloviate. They hyperextend as far as possible. What I remember in the recruiting videos was like, uh, if it was a long video, there was a lot to look at. There was a lot of engagement. It wasn't uh, cell shading and, and you know something that I need to take Adderall to pay attention to. The recruiting videos I remember, and I'll I'll, I'll play a few of them right now. <clears throat> I remember short to the point videos where they show uh, this is my my nostalgia before I even look up the videos. I remember straight to the point. Uh, let's show the the job. Let's let's do a montage. Uh, boom 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 boom. Uh, here's a jet. There's a carrier. There's a helicopter. There's a bunch of guys breaking into a building. Explosions. Logo. Boom. In your face. Um, are you good enough for us? Uh, do you want to you want to be a part of this team? I didn't see that in any of the other five videos. So let's look at yesteryear's recruiting videos. 
Okay, this one is 2 minutes and 15 seconds. I'm not going to watch all of this. 4,000... 4.4 thousand likes. 128 dislikes. I'll go back to that. Okay, it is slow. 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Acceptance letter... I got goosebumps already. Okay, I'll play it all. Even though ACUs are ugly, this is a good video. This is a better use of time. They have shown me more and said less in the same 2 minutes and 15 seconds. This is motor boner. This is awesome. Why aren't they still doing this? Okay, I found another one. Here's a Navy recruiting video from the early aughts. Hey, it's, it's a minute and 12 seconds max if we look at all of it. Okay. Subs, divers, aquatic, it's the Navy. Moto boner number two. Highway to the danger zone. <laughs> oh. Okay, that. These aren't even that long ago. They're still high def, man. Uh, it's, it's the Air Force recruiting. Oh, slam on your brakes. That's, that's how to get collisions. Alright. Hey, headquarters, we need this town to disappear. I'm not crying, you're crying! Yes! Join the fight. Special warfare. Not bad. Now here is one of the best Marine Corps commercials I've ever seen. One minute. One minute long. 2,000 likes. That, that, yeah. I'll just go ahead and give that one too. Uh, the shortest commercial. Straight to the point. Um, and this is the slowest commercial I've seen. It's, it's very slow.
but it's to the point. It doesn't it doesn't take as long as I'm taking to explain it. I'm gonna go cry in the corner after I watch this, and I'll, I'll edit that out. So here's the here's the Marine Corps. That's all you need. See, it really shouldn't be that difficult to make a recruiting video on any service branch. And I know I didn't throw in um, the Coast Guard and the Space Force, but uh, I, I, this video is too long already. It's really not that difficult to look at your target demographic, 16 to 26. Target that. Throw, throw in throw in things. That, what 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 were you into when you were 16 to 26 years old? Well, I definitely wa was not into infomercials. Uh, I, I didn't like watching any YouTube. Let's go with YouTube. Nobody's gonna watch any commercial past five seconds unless they're required to by YouTube and the Google al algorithms. Usually, when a, a commercial comes up, I I ride on that skip button and then smack it. Okay, that's. I, I don't want to watch another commercial if I can help it. What you should do is flash a slideshow as fast as possible, do a John Cena, and then logo, and you're done. Uh, benefits, uh, the job, tanks, planes, jets, uh, helicopters, carriers, uh, the the flying school buses, uh, what whatever. Uh, kicking in doors, explosions, uh, motto, logo, done. And then if you want to bloviate from there, if you want to expand uh, after five seconds, go ahead and do that because it's probably required from your, your upper echelon. They want a two-minute commercial. Okay, I have to do a two-minute commercial because we're going to throw this in the Super Bowl and, you know, you have, which nobody's watching that either. Uh, you have to throw in this two-minute commercial and no one's going to watch it because it's incredibly boring and it got, obviously these all got ratioed, uh, the, the newer ones. It, it's not that difficult. It, 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 it really isn't. This is why the rest of the service branches laugh at, at the Army for, that partic for, for this. Um, the Marine Corps especially. This is why the Marine Corps is laughing at the Army. Uh, this is why the other uh, nations of the world are laughing at us uh, when uh, Russia's entire thing is uh, motherland, uh, protect the house, blow some stuff up, shoot some people that are trying to invade Russia logo. Uh, China, uh, we're gonna we're gonna kill people and blow things up and uh, the honor and service and whatever uh, China. That's, uh, that's pretty much all you need. So why are we going, these are our feelings. And we're going to sit and talk about our feelings for the next 45 minutes. That's why you got ratioed. That's why no one likes you.